speed of flux that can be measured using the Torricelli's law. What is flux here? Flux means a outflow of fluid. Outflow of fluid is called flux. Now, with what speed the outflow of fluid will uh, goes out? Uh, we are going to find uh, using the Torricelli's law. Now, this is a tank. This tank having uh, an orifice. Now, from the orifice, uh, the fluid is flowing out. The flow of uh, fluid outside is called flux. Now, flux uh, velocity is a uh, v1 here we find the v1 velocity using the Torricelli's law now in this tank uh, the orifice are hole at a height y1 from the bottom of the tank and uh, the top surface of the water or fluid at a height uh, y2 from the bottom of the tank and uh, the velocity with which uh, the fluid is coming out the outflow of fluid having a speed v1 and uh, this orifice uh, is open to the atmosphere so at this point the pressure acting is atmospheric pressure pa so at this point one pressure p1 is equal to atmosphere pa and uh, the area of this orifice is uh, a1 now the top surface of fluid at this top surface of fluid we take the point 2 at point 2 the area of the liquid or fluid that is a2 and the pressure is exerted by this region is a uh, p2 is equal to p and uh, the velocity with which uh, the flow of velocity with which the top fluid is a uh, falls down that is v2 as uh, the fluid is coming out uh, then what happens the top surface of the fluid will falls down the velocity with which the top surface of fluid is falling down that is v2 here now for this situation we have to find the velocity which is coming out uh, of the fluid means we have to find the v1 here first of all we take the concept of uh, equation of continuity according to equation of continuity we, we know a v is equals to constant means uh, a1 v1 is equals to a2 v2 now we write v2 is equals to a1 by a2 into v1 v2 is equal a1 by a2 into v1 actually here a2 is uh, much larger than a1 a2 is greater than greater than a1 from the figure we observe that area of uh, orifice is much smaller and area of the top surface of fluid is much larger a2 is greater than greater than a1 if a2 is greater than a1 this value means uh, a1 by a2 is much smaller so v2 also much smaller v2 approximately equal to zero so according to the equation of continuity v2 can be considered as zero v2 means what it is the velocity with which the top surface of fluid is falling down basically v2 is constant zero in our drill level so if you observe from a hole if water is coming out uh, the top surface of water falls down very very slowly means uh, v2 approximately equal to zero now we find the v1 value using the bernoulli's theorem now according to bernoulli's theorem we know that p plus rho gh plus uh, half rho v square is equals to constant it can also be written as a uh, p1 plus rho g h1 plus half rho v1 square is equals to p2 plus rho g h2 plus half rho v2 square p1 is the pressure at a point 1 that is pa pa plus uh, what is rho here rho is the density of the fluid for example this tank density of the fluid is rho rho g h1 is the height of the point one from the bottom of the fluid that is y1 from the bottom of the tank the height is y1 plus half uh, rho into density is rho only v1 is the velocity at point one that is v1 only so we write v1 square is equal to p2 is a pressure at a point two the pressure at point two is p plus uh, rho g h2 h2 is the height of the point two from the bottom that is a uh, y2 plus uh, half rho v2 approximately equal to 0 according to the equation of continuity so 0 square so this we write as a pa plus a rho g y1 plus half rho v1 square is equal to p plus a rho g y2 this term is 0 now taking these two terms this side now we get half rho v1 square is equal to p plus a rho g y2 this side here minus rho g y1 rho g is common from these two terms then rho g into y2 minus y1 this is minus p a now it can also be written as a 1 by 2 into rho v1 square is equal to p minus p a 
plus rho g into y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 is equal to the height of the orifice from the top surface of the fluid that is h. Here this orifice at a depth h from the top surface of the fluid that is h, h is equal to y2 minus y1. So of rho v1 square is equal to p minus pa plus rho g h. Now here we have to find the v1 square, v1 value. So take the remaining terms this side. Now we write uh, rho v1 square is equal to 2 into p minus pa plus 2 rho g h and uh, v1 square is equal to 2 into p minus p a this row divides uh, these two terms by rho plus uh, 2 rho g h by rho rho is cancelled now v1 square is equal to 2 into p minus p a by rho plus 2 g h now v1 is equal to under root uh, 2 into p minus p a by rho plus 2 g h now this is the velocity of outflow fluid from the orifice which is measured using the Bernoulli's theorem. Now this is called Torricelli's law. Now <clears throat> we take a condition that if point 2 is open to the atmosphere means uh, if the tank is open. If tank is open the point is open to the atmosphere at point 2 also the pressure is a uh, atmosphere pressure means if tank is open. If tank is open, so at point 2 pressure also, atmosphere pressure, at point 2 we taken pressure as P, means P is equals to PA, if we substitute P is equal to PA in this equation, now we get uh, V1 is equal to PA will be cancelled, this term is 0, root uh, 2GH. Here V1 is equal to root 2GH is the velocity is similar to the velocity obtained by a freely falling body falling from height H. So the story cell is scientist Torricelli stated that see this velocity root 2 j h is the velocity obtained by freely falling body falling from height h means uh, we find similarity between these two if the tank is open from the orifice at a depth h from the top surface of fluid acquire the velocity root 2 j h and similarly when a body falling from height h uh, after falling height h, it also gets the same velocity root 2 gh. Means uh, these two are equal. Means uh, the scientist Torricelli stated that the speed of fluid from an orifice uh, from an open tank at a particular depth uh, is equal to the is equal to the velocity obtained by freely falling body falling from same height or same depth. Now this h is the vertical height of the vertical distance of the orifice from the top surface of fluid top surface of the fluid so that its uh, velocity is root 2gh in the same way if the vertical height through which a freely falling body is falling its velocity obtained also root 2gh. Now this is the statement of the Torricelli's law.